We begin with promising signs, easing restrictions, and deep concern about what could be around the corner. COVID-19 cases ca- case counts are down in many parts of this country. Health officials credit the diligence of Canadians abiding by public health guidelines for bending the curve downward. The seven-day average of new cases has dropped by more than half over the past month. But there is a good chance it won't stay that way. Every day, more cases of the highly transmissible variants are detected in Canada. In Toronto, a case of the variant that first emerged in Brazil has been confirmed. The city's top doctor has this warning. We are in a transition from one pandemic to another. A transition to a new pandemic. We are in a position of great uncertainty with respect to variants, but what we know is alarming. Decisions to reopen do not come with guarantees, except that cases of COVID-19 will rise when we interact again more frequently. The variants are easier to catch and easier to spread, and there is uncertainty about the effectiveness of vaccines against them. South Africa has suspended a plan to use the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine on frontline healthcare workers there after a clinical trial suggested it's not effective against the South African variant. In the midst of all this uncertainty, some provinces are easing restrictions. Ross Lord has our top story tonight. The Ontario government suggests it's striking the right balance between public health and the economy. We will be able to protect our people, our frontline heroes, our communities and our businesses. The Premier says stay-at-home restrictions will continue for most of the province, but in the coming weeks, Ontario will cautiously transition regions to gradually reopening based on infection rates. On Monday, schools reopened for students in 13 public health units, including Windsor and Hamilton. Elsewhere, Nova Scotia is allowing more people into retail businesses and fitness centres, increasing limits from 50% to 75% full. Quebec is expanding businesses that can open to include non-essentials like hair salons. And Alberta has decided to allow in-person restaurant dining, along with limited school and team sports a welcomed taste of normalcy. It feels different, like obviously it's not very busy, so it's kind of a different atmosphere, but it's also like comforting to be back. A small reward for recent success against COVID-19. So I think the fact that we've been seeing declining case counts overall uh, have really been a sign that people have been taking things more seriously. Manitoba says it's considering slowly easing restrictions later this week, while BC is extending restrictions indefinitely, heeding the advice of Canada's chief public health officer. Theresa Tam is repeating that it's crucial strong measures are kept in place in order to maintain a steady downward trend. Researchers warn some provinces that go easy are inviting more trouble from highly contagious variants because measures like contact tracing are still lacking. Strikes me that this rush to open many things at once is not the most strategic endeavor. He says looser rules mean a third wave of COVID cases in the spring becomes more likely. Ross Lord, Global News. Newfoundland and Labrador reported a jump in cases today, the largest single-day increase since April of 2020. Eleven new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed there, pushing the total number of active cases to 27. Health authorities have suspended all group recreational and arts activities in the St. John's area. There are also new visitation restrictions on long-term care homes to reduce the risk to the elderly. Restrictions are being eased in Quebec, even though cases of the variants have been detected there, and politicians and public health officials acknowledge their spread could quickly change the game. Amanda Jellowicki reports. Finally! We have our life back! Yes! This Montreal woman celebrates the reopening of Quebec stores with a shopping trip. (laughs) For sure COVID is here, but we're alive, happy, smiling. And yes, there's a life at the end of the tunnel. After being closed for six weeks, non-essential businesses reopened today. It's the first step in a gradual loosening of restrictions. Reopening is key. It's going to save businesses. Uh, it's We don't expect it to be a problem in terms of health. But many in Quebec worry about the impact on public health. 
I would have said that we should have kept non-essential businesses closed for longer. Quebec COVID cases spiked over the holidays with over 3,000 in one day. Hospitals warned they were on the brink of catastrophe. Since adopting an 8 p.m. curfew last month, cases now hover around 1,000 a day. The premier admits reopening is a delicate balancing act. I think it's calculated risk. Uh, and it's a balance also taking into consideration mental health. But some argue cases are still too high. It's like we have our fingers around the neck of this uh, of this pandemic. And this is where instead of loosening our grip, we should be tightening our grip. Experts worry with new, more contagious COVID variants already in Canada, loosening restrictions could backfire. Because if you stay home, you can't catch the virus from somebody and you can't pass the virus to someone. Over the weekend, Quebec surpassed 10,000 COVID deaths, the highest in Canada. It's a number that looms large in a province opening up while the virus is still spreading. Amanda Jelowicki, Global News, Montreal.